Okay, here is the Craftsman Tilt Arbor Jigsaw model 110 24561. This is going to be red leaders for his Craftsman uh, 50s garage shop that he's building. And uh, we snagged this thing. Um, I had seen it months ago and uh, didn't even know what it was. Didn't know red leader was looking for one. And uh, actually inquired about it, got some other pictures of it, and then thought it looked really kind of bizarre and cheap in the pictures. Um, deleted all my emails and then just recently learned that Red Leader was actually looking for one of these things. So I posted an ad on Craigslist and said, hey, are you the seller of this thing? And um, I posted that two or three or four times just hoping that maybe the seller would see it and go, oh yeah, I never sold it. Well, somebody else saw that ad and said, hey, that ad is reposted over here. And I I never saw that, that ad posted again because I did searches for scroll saw and they had, they had uh, posted it as a jigsaw. So I made connections with them on uh, this past Saturday, Sunday morning, skipped church, ran out to get it and, uh, and uh, snagged this thing. So I was really excited and uh, got a message from, from Dave, Red Leader. And uh, he was just kind of excited. Uh, I think he said, cool, really awesome, about eight different times in the message. It was awesome. So I'm going to run this thing. Um, when you turn it on, it, it actually sounds like the motor is, like, binding. But uh, it isn't. Uh, it's actually on, and the blade is running, and we cut some, some wood with it. It may need some tweaking. Um, but uh, hold on, I think. Yeah, so... Um, I'm not sure that's up to him, but uh, I'm going to turn it on. It's kind of cool. The switch is right down here. And uh, you turn it on and it's kind of loud. And uh, but the blade is running. And that's how it is. It might even be able to be quieted down a bit with uh, some padding on the inside. Then the really cool thing is you loosen this knob here, the big knob, and this thing tilts like so. So you have a tilting arbor jigsaw instead of the whole uh, table tilting. Tighten it down wherever you want it. The blade changing mechanism is here. I'm not sure if that's missing a knob. It looks like something might be missing. Easily fabricated. So, uh, so um, yeah, so I'm, uh, you can tilt this thing and remove the blade. Pretty easy switch out too. So, and this thing is, it's heavy. It is really heavy. And uh, like I said, when you turn it on, it, it, it doesn't move. I actually was like thinking it wasn't running, but, but it is. So this mechanism goes up and down fairly easily, but I am sure with some good cleaning and whatever that Red Leader puts into it, this thing is going to be fine. Um, little slight scratches on the, uh, well, on this side, there's nothing really as far as scratches. Uh, it, it's in great shape. Um, little splatters of stuff. Down here, it's it's really fairly clean. and there, There's no dents that I can see. Um, shine my light on it here. There's just little, little bits of wear, but there's no, you know, usually there's a dent or something, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything in the knob that's dented or or anything. And I haven't taken the top off and looked at the motor itself. But I'll let Red Leader do that unless he gives me permission. I feel like I don't want to touch this thing. I'd let him break it instead of me. <laughs> so uh, there you have it. I'll do a quick once around with the camera uh, so you can see it from all angles. But um, I didn't want to make you too dizzy with a jerky camera mo motion. So yeah, so uh, there it is. It's it's a really weird side profile, and it in the pictures it, it looked just weird. It looked like some weird chintzy thing, but when I um, picked it up, boy, it's it's heavy. This is all solid, solid uh, cast. So that part I believe is is uh, sheet metal, but 
Yep, so there it goes. I'm going to sign off for now and post this up to YouTube. See you in a while.